G'day, this is a tutorial on how to make a fake slow motion effect in Cinelera, which is the uh, Linux video editing program. Essentially what we're going to be doing is taking a 25 frames per second PAL uh, interlaced video signal from my camcorder, and from each of those interlaced frames we're going to be using the Cinelera frames to fields uh, plugin. Uh, or video effect in order to create a 50 frames per second deinterlaced video stream. Now that, that 50 frames per second video stream can then be played back at 25 frames per second in order to give you a 50% slow motion effect. Now if you've got an NTSC camcorder you get, slightly, you get a slightly better deal because you've got a uh, higher frame rate. You've got 29.97 frames per second I think it is that you can then um, deinterlace to a, about a roughly 60 frames per second um, deinterlaced video signal um, and then you can uh, then play that back at 24 frames per second and get a roughly 40% slowdown. Now uh, just before we get started I'm not a video expert so my terminology and so forth is going to be you know basically wrong sometimes. Um, apologies for this I bought this camcorder a few days ago um, but it took me, you know, a few hours to work out how to do this slow motion effect and I want to save other people the trouble. So let's get started. Um, unfortunately I don't know how to capture off a computer screen yet so we're just going to have to make do with the camcorder pointing at the screen. Uh, but basically what we've got here in Cinelera is I've just loaded a short uh, clip that we want to play in slow motion. Now the clip is our 25 frames per second interlaced and the absolutely crucial thing here is that in your format for the video project we set the video frame rate to 50 frames per second. Uh, if basically we do that so that the uh, frames to field plugin um, has somewhere to chuck its deinterlaced frames. Um, if you set that to 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second um, you're just going to get 25 frames per second deinterlaced video. So we've got our 50 frames per second project we have the 25 frames per second clip loaded and we drag over the frames to field plugin and what happens is if we jog through individual frames you can see that every time we do an individual frame there's movement in the video up the top up the top here now essentially what this has done is just created 50 frames per second deinterlaced video so the main drawback of this technique that I'm putting up here is that once you've deinterlaced the video with the frames to fields plugin you need to render it to disk. Um, now obviously there's a slight loss of quality here so I'd recommend using something like uh, the uh, YUV2 video compression which is essentially as far as I can tell it's uncompressed the file size certainly seems like it's uncompressed um, so, okay, and the insertion strategy will leave at create new resources, um, and that will just give us a clip that we can uh, drag and drop into our video project. Okay, so that's rendered, and in our media, we've now got the 50 frames per second clip that we, we just rendered. If you do the info here, you'll see it's 50 frames per second frame rate. Now, here's the trick. Um, what we're going to do is tell it that this is actually 25 frames per second. Now, what that will do is that it will force a 50 frames per second uh, video clip to play back at 25 frames per second, and naturally that will give us a 50% slow motion. So there's our full speed video and here's the smooth slow motion version. Hopefully that's enough to uh, get you guys started on that. If you've got any questions by all means post them. If you've got any corrections please post them. I need to get my terminology straight because I'm really just a noob at this still. But uh, hopefully that saved some uh, frustration for you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>